Okay, I'm going to try this again. So, this is a little tutorial on how to use a mini mapper tool that this guy Tom Tom, this guy here developed. That's a pretty cool tool. I just messed around with it a little bit. So you're going to want to come to miniZWorg.online, this little thing up here. And this is a great website for railroads online. Then you're going to click on the mini map tool. You're going to download it and you're going to have a file. What you want to pay attention to is going into your antivirus and adding this exception, which I did. I have AVG, so come to the AVG menu, settings, exceptions, and there I have it in there already. If I didn't have it in there, I would click add exception and then put it. Okay, so even though we have that exception, when you inject this into a running game, you're still going to get a, a warning from like Windows uh, Defender. Let's see. We should have slot three now. Upload, get that up. Although we don't really even need this anymore because we're going to use this mini mapping tool, which I think is really cool. So. Um, over here, you can see the little icon. Uh, after I downloaded it, I pinned it to the to the bar. It's also here on my main screen. Uh, I pinned it to the bar so that I can come to my second screen and, and click on it over there. So it, this is um, a type of file that injects stuff into the game. This is how cheaters cheat so yeah this is cheating do i consider it cheating no because um just playing the game um by myself i'm not in competition with anybody i don't really care i want the game to function a certain way hopefully they'll actually make the game function this way and i can get rid of this tool if the devs are paying attention I think they want it to be like a multiplayer where people can go in. But if you're not a multiplayer, you're just playing by yourself. This works better. I can control switches and locomotives, which I haven't tried yet. Um, and have a little mini map in the corner. So it's actually pretty cool. Let's see. Can I mute this audio? That is the question. Sorry for the blank screen. We're just waiting for the game to load. Sorry for the blank screen. Can't do that. Oh, I'm still figuring out all my streaming stuff. I got this new laptop. I got a Main Gear Vector Pro. i7 3070. Lots of RAM. Sucker gets hot, you know. Alright. Did we, uh. No, we didn't actually. Didn't actually see. Hmm. Okay. So now that the game is running. Borderline on. Come over to the. So when you click on the uh, the file that you download, you might get some Windows Defender stuff pop up. I had my AVG thing pop up and scan it anyway, even though I had an exception 
PVG scanned it, found nothing wrong with it. It is uh, an open file, open source. So if there was something wrong with it, I think someone would have said something. And come over here in your map. You see the map? There's nothing populated yet because I haven't attached it. Your settings, you can pick the map background, which is kind of cool. You can choose to have the mini map, transparent mode. I'm actually going to disable that. You just select where you want the map. Auto save. I think every two minutes is good. They say pick two slots because um, if one slot is in the middle of saving, if your game crashes, you lose everything. So, you know, they can always save one at a time. So if one is corrupt, the other one will auto save now. Or you can hit F2 once you're attached. Your saves can be uploaded to Mini Z Word. Zword, Mini Zword. I don't know if I'm saying that right now. You can decide whether you want your saves to be public or not. Um, this is your info, kind of tells you how to use it. Pretty good. Basic info. And then I'm going to attach it. I'm going to ask you if I want to run. Yes. It's attaching itself, it's injecting itself into the game. This is how hacking happens. I'm not a hacker, by the way, so I'm a little wary about doing this. Um, a little wary about doing this, but um, this is a brand new computer, so if I screw it up, I'll just freaking delete everything and start over. There we go. Now that it's attached, minimize this and I'm going to hit F1. Here we go. I don't know if it's attached or not. This map, oh, the map is there. F1 should have brought up the screen. Bring it. Um, oh, oh that to be in the game. There we go. So, we can actually have the game highlighted. Now my map is in the screen. Cool. I can see the switches. I can flip the switches. Oh, I did save my game. Okay. So the red is where it's not going. I'm going to flip that switch. That switch is good. I want to bring this train around into the yard on this siding facing the same direction. So I'm kind of looking at all the direction of my switches here. This one's good. This one's not good. This one has to be switched. This can go back to straight. Try to keep them all straight. These are all good. It's cool. You can see you can plan my route out and actually it's almost like a dispatcher. You know, I'm I'm my own dispatcher and break it. All right, so I hit F1 again. Now it goes into the upper right hand corner. Hmm. I don't know if I like the transparent mode or not. I think it's really I'm like transparent. All right, we got fire temperature, we got boil pressure, we got everything. All my switches should be in the right position. They're not. They're not. I read that wrong. F1. Boom. Boom. Now I'm going that way. One. I guess you can do this while it's moving. I can probably do it from this one too. Let's try that. Yeah, we're moving, hitting F1. If I can throw a switch right there if I wanted to. And by the way, the mini map is going to be. Uh, cool, look at that. The mini map is going to be zoomed out or in 
based on your uh, map when you press F1. F2 auto saves the game. your train on the map and everything. See, for me, operating by myself, I guess maybe I'm a little impatient, and this little tool makes it better. Gives me more to pay attention to. I can operate my railroad quicker. Um, also, for I'm looking at it from a screen perspective. I think from a streaming perspective, there's more going on, more to pay attention to, my keep streamers. For some reason, my, my Christmas stream is going in first. Started up the game. It's running, it's running on zero boiler effect. And we started up in reverse. That's my decorated Christmas tree. This is the uh, Christmas special episode, part one and two. And we're going to park this train. And I'm going to grab another train and go pick up some rail and some beans and bring it up to the coal mine. But for right now, this is a tutorial on how to use the moon that. What I haven't tried yet is remotely operating a locomotive. I'm not even sure if that's part of this new map tool or not. for setting switches on. Get all tab out of this thing for a second. And Can't see the four steps. <clears throat> oh, pardon the interruption, it's just uh, still setting this computer up. I'm actually using the uh, TV in my living room as a second monitor for the time being. The giant 60 inch. Okay. And we're gonna hop out of here and see if we can operate a locomotive. Um, that works. I think this is that might be a different tool. That might be a different tool. I don't think that's part of this tool. Let's hop out. F1. Oh, well, there you go. Click on the logo. Open controls. <gasps> Look at that. I don't hear nothing. You have to put that one again. You might have whistled. I don't know. Let's see if we can break off. Get the regulator. Oh, it's moving. 
Another here break stops. Oh man, this could be darn cool. Put the compressor on, the lights turn on. I think you couldn't do this. Oh, that's pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty badass. But I guess if I was on a loading dock, this is gonna be interesting. I came up right where I left off. Okay. So look the way this is laid out, actually. All right, I can still keep that up. Oh no. Maybe I want to get out of it. Back into F1. Cut this off. Train's gonna run me over. All right. Oh, follow? How do you follow? I guess it follows. Uh, unfollow. I'm not sure what that does. I'm not sure. What that does. So even if I was on the other side of the map, I could bring the train over from another side of the map. Wow. Wow. Let's fire the phone here. And then we'll... So that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing I would really want to show you is how to use that to your advantage to load, not load. I guess you can stand on the, uh, the loading dock, operate the cranes, and move the train forward or back. Looks like it might be a little tedious because of the step. It might be hard to see, in other words, but basically that's it. That's a tutorial on how to use the mini map tool. You find the mini the word. That train is moving. Oh, that train is moving. The train in the distance. Five percent will kill you. Right. The mouse is kind of all over the place because I'm using a cordless mouse on a magazine. That's why you guys set up. Which is great. I clicked on myself. Light blows out every time. You can even start the game. I'm going to start a different YouTube video. We're going to go get this train full of rails and beans and try to bring it to the coal mine up a 10% grade. I don't think it's going to be so we Try and back down and then come the way. Yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, so that's pretty much covers everything. In the next video, you'll see me trying to use the mini map tool while loading and unloading. We'll cover that on. All right, thanks for watching.